it's been a minute, huh? Where do we start? Probably with my shitty voice. So, uh, <laughs> I haven't uh, done anything with the bike since, uh, well, it was like around my birthday in October. So that was the last time we had the bike down to the track. Went to a, uh, a track rental. Uh, during the day, it was a Friday, so I was off of work, got to go run the bike. Really nice day, but it was a little windy. Um, but as you can see, it didn't go great. Uh, I made four passes. On the fourth pass, the uh, motor let go. float a valve and spit a shim just that sound that it makes that's kind of what this sounded like and I wasn't super disappointed because I knew um end of the season you know last trip to the track for the year for sure but um I knew that motor uh you've you've seen me band-aid that thing together five different times um it was just it was a good motor there was a lot of good parts in it but everything was just starting to get worn out and I kept kind of doctoring stuff up and trying things and doing tricks and whatever just to kind of put have something together to run. And this whole year was just a disaster with an oil problem that I overlooked that cost me three different motors. Or that cost me to tear the motor apart three different times, I should say. And then uh, we had this little mishap. And I'll, uh, I'll, kind of sh I'll show you what I found. Uh, I didn't spit a shim, actually. Everything in the cylinder head survived. Actually, everything in the entire motor survived except for one cylinder and one piston. So, come up with a plan of attack for that. But I'll uh, kind of give you a rundown of uh, what I found and kind of where everything stands right now. And kind of where I'm going to try to go with this. But, yeah, like, I feel like I've been sick for two months. I don't know what it was. Some fucking bug. I was coughing all fucking day for like two months. I felt fucking fine. I just couldn't kick this stupid cough. Well, then all of a sudden, I was feeling awesome for two days. And then I got my ass kicked with whatever this bug is that's going around. One had one day that was real rough, had a fever, whatever. And then, uh, yeah, coughing so much, I lost my voice. So now, I feel fine, and I sound like shit. <coughs> and because my voice is fucked up, it creates like a little tickle that causes me to cough. So if I cough during the video, I'm sorry. Um, but yeah, it's been two months of... Actually, I bought a new-to-me truck, too. I don't know if I brought that up at all. So the supercharged dirt is kind of going to be retired from tow duty. Um, bought an 08 Toyota Tundra. Was sitting on a used car lot here locally. Um, I thought the price was really fair for the amount of truck that I got. Um, I'm just... I'm really happy with it. I've done a few road trips with it, kind of gone out adventuring around and stuff, so... Been kind of enjoying that in the downtime of you know winter holidays you know all that, but it's been a long fucking two months away from working on stuff I love. Uh, money's tight, so we're not really just kind of crapping money away on this thing. Uh, as you know, nothing's getting cheaper these days. But uh, I got a plan, and uh, you know, time, patience, sacrifice. We'll see what we can make happen with this thing. Um, it's only you know. Just past mid part of December, we got a lot of time before I worry about getting this thing down the track. So I'm going to show you what I found, and then uh, I talk about what the plan is from here. So as you can see, uh, in the last couple months, I've been on here a couple times. One night, I worked on getting the motor out of the bike, started kind of tearing it down to see what the problem was. Once I figured out what the problem was, I was content with just leaving it sit. I came out here, 
uh, a couple nights ago and then tonight. Um, tearing stuff down the rest of the way. I started tinkering a little bit with a little project here with pistons. I'll show you that, but we got uh, another set of cases and stuff here. This These are 05, 06 cases. Um, I normally run the 01 to 04 stuff, just the 73 millimeter bore, whatever. Um, that stuff seems like it's getting a little harder to find. That's actually what what that stuff is. That stuff just seems to be getting harder to find. Um, for the price, I think you can find more of these available. So I got that kind of on the back burner. This whole uh, rebuild kind of, or this whole situation that I'm dealing with now kind of came about unexpectedly. I was really hoping the motor I was running at that track day was going to live, and I could just kind of go through, freshen up, check it out, and it would just kind of stay as a complete spare motor. We could put it off to the side, start with everything fresh in this thing. I know at one point I had mentioned doing like a Busa motor swap. Uh, financially, it just doesn't make sense to do that just yet because I was thinking about like there's, I don't have any Busa motor parts. Even with this, this thing is its own contained unit. I don't have any spare Busa motor parts. So by the time I did like, you know, got a good trans, uh, got all the cylinder head parts, got a good clutch, a new, you know, turbo setup. I don't even have throttle bodies. Nick. Just by the time I got all that stuff, I'd just be in for way more money than I want to spend right now. Uh, and I've had really good luck with the 1000 motors up until this year because my head was in my ass most of the time and my heart wasn't in it. And I was just overlooking stuff and being stupid. Hopefully next year we get off to a better start. We don't have that problem. Anyway, so as you can see, I got these are, you know, one head was a bare spare head I got. That, that was the head that I was running during the mishap, mishap this time. I got the head stripped. Everything survived. There's one little imperfection in that head that I can probably surface out. I'll show you here, actually. So you can see down by these. I'm trying to get the better light here. Down by these cool passages here. I hit this with a stone just to kind of see what was flat and uh, what was going on. So you can see there's a little bit of scarring just in those spots there. And it's actually... It's outside of where the, the head gasket goes. And actually, if I, I had a head gasket laying on here. I don't know what I did with it. But uh, I'm going to take this to work, and I'm going to surface this out. And if I got to take five, six, seven thou off, I'm not too worried about it. I just don't want to get into the valve seats. I should be able to avoid that. Um, and I'll just I'll run a thicker head gasket or something. But I, I think this will make a good spare, or um, maybe I'll start out running it, because the head itself is still good. Um it's one that I kind of poured it up, nothing fancy, just kind of a cleanup. Um, this is a good virgin, untouched spare. Uh, again, I took a stone to this one just to see how flat everything was. Um, looks good. So we, I was just kind of doing some parts comparing over here. Um, eventually, both those heads will be done up. Um, that's all kibble white parts. Eventually, both those heads will be just basically twins. I could, you know, interchange one one on one motor, one on another, whatever happened to be going on. Um, hopefully we don't wreck any more stuff like this year, but this is what, so if you remember at all, if you, you know, if you haven't watched some of my other videos, these cases, this is a mixed batch. These cases are not a match set. I did that to kind of try to prove a point. These cases are from when this bike was still a nitrous bike and I completely destroyed a set of cylinders. Actually, it torched the hole between the two. Um, I still have them here. Actually, they're down under the bench. But the other, the other parts of the cases were still good. I hopped on eBay and I found these cylinders. These are 01, 02 cylinders. Guy had them for sale as just cylinders, no other parts of the cases. Uh, I want to say I got them for 150 bucks, and they were actually really clean. So that's what I had been running. I went through, measured everything up, put the crank in, figured out what I had for clearances, what I needed for bearings. And as you can see, looking at my main bearings, mismatched cases is not an issue. Uh, this thing was running perfect. There was not a bearing issue with this motor at all. There was no debris in the oil even. But as you can see here, we had a mishap, kind of a significant meltdown. And it actually it, uh, blew a hole up the backside. And it must have been enough of a flame coming up the backside that it actually it got in and frayed some of my wire loom stuff. So... Must have barked a little flame out of the back of the motor. Um, on the pass that it let go, uh, every pass of that day, I could hear something in the motor that I thought was like, you know, valve float or something. And I honestly think it was already starting to kind of, you know, cause this problem. 
And like I said, my head's been in my ass. I was just looking at data. Data all looked pretty good. The bike was making decent passes. Other than it was windy and I was getting kind of blown out of the groove a couple of times. But um, I was happy with how it was running. But the fourth pass, um, I was stringing it out pretty good. And, you know, the motor shut off, obviously. I pushed it back from the big end. But that's what I found, like, a week later after I finally got around tearing the bike apart. My only answer, only idea of what happened here was I don't remember, honestly, checking this deck for flatness. So my thought is either these cylinders had a low spot or more likely is if you can see there's a coolant passage right here more than likely there was a crack and i never saw it just you know something small but there there was an imperfection or some kind of a failure with these cylinders that started this because you don't have you know your basic a to b <laughs> a to b everybody's got an a to b tune right uh you know, 14 pounds of boost, A to B, tune-up. It was a cold, windy day. I was just trying to get down the track. There's no reason this would have happened. I was not leaning on this thing. And the data logs all looked good. So I, I'm thinking there was just, um, you know, something kind of, there was a fuse was lit somewhere at some time. So I'm not going to think too hard about this because I feel like this was just an anomaly. It was just something should happen sometimes. But here's the piston that was in there. Oh, I got to do something quick. Hold on. So, anywho, uh, you guys are just going to see a little hiccup in the video, but I just stopped the tape off my skirts. Uh, I've been doing something to the skirts on these pistons that um, kind of a little test thing I don't want to really give up the ghost on just yet. Uh, I, I think it helps, considering what we do with these motors and not having uh, oil squ uh, piston squirters in there anymore. So, I think it's just a... A free little thing I, I've been trying because if you talk to enough car guys and engine builders, you learn a few things. So we're just trying something. I'll talk about that in a different video when it matters. But this is what happened to this piston. And it honestly, it didn't even get to the top ring land. The rings were still good. With all this damage, all that damage is above where the top ring even comes up to. Like if you can see... You can see where the top ring stops. That's all the deeper that gouge is. So it never even made it, you know, to the ring land. But it's fucked up. So, I mean, the bike might have fired back up had there not been an actual big old compression leak. But anywho, uh, I have a spare piston that I already worked over how I want, ready to go. So I got four good pistons. I got a good crank. Uh, no, obviously there's no bearing problems. So good crank, good rods, pistons. I'm going to call them good, but them are still the abused nitrous pistons. <laughs> that, that spare, um, it hit a valve hard enough to actually compress one ring land on the top. So I doctored that up. We did some buffing, some polishing, and she's good. Um, trans cases, those are all good. All I literally need to put this motor back together is I'm just watching eBay for another set of 70 thrill, 70 thrill, 73 millimeter bore cylinders i'm going to do this mismatch case business again because this motor is still not worth putting all brand new stuff back in i'm going to make another set of used cylinders work and i'll take it to work and deck it we actually have at work a way i can check it for cracks so i'll spend a little time making that correct this time but yeah we're gonna put this motor back together with the best of everything i got of used stuff we're gonna make it run make some passes try to make it live and keep it as a spare or keep it alive at least and then those cases will be the ones that get you know there's i got two cranks sitting there the head will be all new stuff i'll get a new trans new rods like all the good stuff not all the top end stuff or top of the line stuff i should say but good solid parts kind of like what this motor is i know what i can get away with so we'll we'll work on doing that but that's kind of the plan keep going with the 1000 stuff get a spare motor of spare parts and then try to get building on a, a fresh new motor when hopefully things, you know, get a little better next year. The bike itself, uh, I don't really have any big changes for it, you know, planned. Um, I'd like to cosmetically change it up a little bit, but it's hard because I love this OEM color scheme. You know, 
that. The blue, white, and black. Like, I'm just in love with that. That's why I, you know, bought the spike. It's like the 03s with that color was just my, my jam. But um, the bike itself just always has worked really well. Um, fuel system, I got to change out a few lines. I know the return line got singed a little bit when that fireball popped out. Um, yeah. Uh, injectors, pump, everything's kind of on par with what I need for what I do with this. Um, like, this this isn't a 700 horse pro street build. I, I don't do that, so I don't need a lot of the stuff that's capable of supporting that. So we're just kind of a middle of the road, low budget, almost want to be pro street, not quite grudge. I'm an idiot and don't know what I'm doing kind of build. But uh, yeah, that's what we're doing. Hopefully I can, uh, you know, maybe after uh, sometime Christmas, New Year's, the break in there, maybe I can get one of the heads to work or, uh, <coughs> excuse me, sorry, uh, get one or both of the heads to work. And just give them a little skim cut, and we'll know where we stand with those. So yeah, it's kind of kind of the skinny um, between wrecking shit in October and then getting sick. Time's just been dragging, and uh, I got this heated garage I haven't been taking advantage of, so I think it's time to get out here and start working again. Um, I got a lot of stuff to start cleaning, and then we can start doing some reassembly as soon as I can find uh, some cases. So if any of you guys know anybody that has a set of mismatched cases or some stuff that's maybe the bottom half is junk and, you know, 01 to 04 GSXR 1000 cases, I'll, I'm looking for a set of just cylinders. Um, a complete set is always nice, but money-wise and for this particular project, I'm looking for just cylinders. <coughs> <coughs> I think uh, for future motors and stuff, we're going to start getting into the 73.4 millimeter to 0506 stuff. It's just more readily available. And, uh, yeah, it's really kind of all I got going on Saturday night. And, uh, I think I might work on, I'll probably take more pistons and rods. I got the one that I replaced with my spare piston. Um, I got that one ready to go. Um, I'll probably take the other three and run them over to the buffer just give them a once over, polish them up a little bit. Um, again, it's my way of trying to like touch everything and kind of inspect it at the same time. Uh, too bad I didn't take my own advice and inspect them cylinders better to start with. We would have been better off. So I'm uh, I'm pounding some cream soda right now because my throat's dry as hell. Um, sorry for coughing and sounding like shit. Uh, yeah, thanks for uh, kind of hanging out. I'll try to try to do videos more when I can, but man. Oh. Been a rough little spell here, and uh, let me get this get this guy corrected. I'm kind of done done talking for a while, I think. So I'll go in. <coughs> Fuck me, running Jesus Christmas, <laughs> fitting. <coughs> Anywho, uh, yeah, I'm going to the edit this video. Uh, I've been getting a lot of people been messaging me about wanting wanting more videos and what I've been up to and stuff, and you know. I get a lot of questions still off the YouTube videos and it's just hard to uh, hard to get back to everybody and it's hard to get out here and do these videos lately. But uh, you know, all we can do is try, right? So hopefully the next one we got something we can start building, putting things back together. So I'll see you in the next video.